Yo, 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 you too. It's your man, Chris, the LSU fan, back with another video for y'all, man. Breaking news. On This is on Sunday, October 17th, the day after the Florida game. So LSU has LSU and, and Ed Ogeron have agreed to part ways after this season, the 2021 season. A nine and eight record since the 2009 national championship. It also says Ed Ogeron will part ways after the 2021 ending his tenure in Baton Rouge. Ogeron led the Tigers to the to the national championship in 2019. But now the two sides are agreed to separate after the season. Which expected to finish out. So, as, just right there, we're going, I'm going to recap. Because he took over in November of 2016 for, uh, for less miles. I'll run. For your whole tenure, I like your tenure, bro. I liked it. I just didn't. These last two years was a uh, that was a struggle, basically. But because hey, you came in, you had all the way up to 2019, you had winning records, dude. I don't know what happened after. That 19th, that, that national championship year, I saw everybody go back, but I was like, okay, we still got, we still had talent for that, and you never, it never, re, you never recovered from that. You led the five and five season in 2020, which was last year, and right now you're four and three. Let's see how this season goes in and see how the other guys go. And also, we're gonna have to pay to pay attention to the decommits, cause you know how when news comes out, it's October turning into November. Looks like we're not gonna after December, after New Year, we might be in the bowl, might not. So they're gonna be prepping for the next year. Will be the 2022 season. We gotta see if the guys that haven't signed. That didn't sign in the early in the early uh I can't remember when the early commitment period is, but you gotta see if a lot of these guys that were considering LSU are really gonna still consider LSU or are they gonna flip to another school since Ed Ogeron's there? But we'll see how that goes on. But as of right now, they have LSU and. Ed Ogeron have agreed to part ways. We we I haven't got the details of the buyout agreement that they settled on. Let me see if I can find it in the book. Let's try to see if we can find it in the news. Cause I know it was like probably like 23, 20 something. Cause he just signed an extension, I think, after the national championship season. It was just the it was just the two, the two, these last two years, bro. The bad, it was the bad offensive coordinator cho choosing, bro. It was bringing in Scott Lanahan, Bo Pelini, that whole last year, which should not have happened. And then you, this year, Durante Jones show, been showing improvement. Jake Peets is just, this is, I, you can tell it's his first time play calling. So, I don't know if they're going to cut ties with him, but we'll have to see. I don't know if the other coach, whoever we hire in the offseason, wants to, hey, if they want to stay with Durante Jones or if they want to stay with Jake Peets or they want to bring their own people in. See, like they said, 2000, in 2017, 6 and 9. But during this next week, 
this next week. We got Ole Miss next Saturday, but Saturday after that, that will be the bye period. I will analyze this down, cut it down, and we'll we'll just sit here and do a a, a, a chop up of it or, or a summary of it. It's been your man Chris, the LSU fan, and I'm back with another video. Y'all know what to do. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. If you are subscribed, like that button, turn that bell on to always, so you get every notification on every video, and I'm gone.